Sometimes you may have noticed that your lens doesn't seem to be pin sharp on its autofocus. Thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Well, this can happen because lenses can drift over time. Now, to overcome this problem, we can actually recalibrate the lens to be pin sharp on that particular focus point. Now, to do this, you just need a few simple things. I recommend a low table, such as a coffee table. You'll need a piece of white board, a ruler and a pen, and of course, a tripod and your camera and lens. So let's show you how to do this. So the first thing you need to do is draw a very thin, clear line on a piece of white board. This will enable the camera to have a specific point to focus on and nothing else. After that, you need to align maybe one or two rulers along that line on a particular point. Here, I've chosen to align them on the 20 centimeter mark. Following this, you must make sure that nothing is going to move, either your board, your rulers, or your camera. And then we'll set about using the central focus point to focus on the line without the rulers in place. So once you've drawn your line, simply select your central focus point and place it on the center of that line. Now, I recommend shooting in full aperture. So in this case, this is a 1.2 lens. So I'm going to open the lens to 1.2 for the shallowest depth of field possible. Also, switch your camera to manual focus temporarily, defocus it so the line isn't sharp at all, then switch your camera back into autofocus so that it can try to focus on the line. So now the camera has focused on that line. I'll now place the rulers. And this point, you have to be very, very careful not to move anything on this table. Now I've positioned those rulers to be on the 20 centimeter mark exactly on that line. And we know that the camera is already focused perfectly on that line. I can now take a photograph and we can examine the results. So let's zoom in on the image. And we can see here clearly that the number 21 and 22 are actually sharper than the number 20. So what that means is that currently our autofocus is actually focusing slightly too far into the distance than actually on the mark where we wanted it to. But we can overcome this with our custom calibration. So we go into the menu, find autofocus, autofocus micro adjustment, select, and then move down to adjust by lens. And then you'll see in this particular camera, we need to press info to register. And then this graph appears, which will show you uh, the going into the distance is the mountain symbol and then coming towards the camera is the camera symbol. So we're going to pull the focus back on here by about minus 15 on the autofocus calibration adjustment and we're going to say okay because the lens was focused too far in the distance so we're going to pull the focus adjustment back towards us we take the shot again we zoom in and we check the image and we can now see on the new calibrated image at minus 15 on the autofocus calibration adjustment that the number 20 and the line is sharper and we can see that focus has pulled back further towards us away from number 22 and 21 so it looks now that that lens is calibrated perfectly so that's how i calibrate my lenses and if you have a longer focal length lens you may need to be further away so you could actually uh, replicate this on the floor and also different cameras other brands other makes have slightly different uh, operations on their menu but the general principle is the same one final thing to keep in mind is if the image is still not looking sharp to your eye through the viewfinder especially if you're using a dslr if the image isn't looking sharp then it may be that you need to adjust the diopter on the side until the picture looks sharp to your eye through the lens as well. So I hope you found that useful. 
I'm Carl Taylor. Thanks for watching. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Carl to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.